Hi, fourth graders, it's Ms. Kovarek, and I'm here with Science Lesson 20. So we're going to be talking about um, Earth's movement within space. So we're talking about its rotation and its revolution. This is a slide that's going to give you every vocabulary word you need for this lesson. So rotation is the spinning of an object on an axis. So rotation is like spinning a top whereas revolution is moving around another object. So rotation, revolution. The axis is that line that it actually spins on. It's not a real line, it's an imaginary line that runs through the center of Earth, and it's how it spins, kind of like a top. Orbit is the path that it takes around the object. So our orbit would be the path that Earth takes around the sun. When something is tilted, it's leaning on one side, and the Earth does that um, as it spins, and that's important for our seasons. And then the last word is hemisphere, which is just a half of the Earth. So please refer back to the slide if you need to for the vocabulary terms. So we don't see or feel Earth moving, but it is always in motion. So Earth is constantly rotating. Here's a nice image to show you how Earth rotates. And then this is how we are revolving. So two movements that are constantly happening, whether we can feel it or not. So rotation. Rotation means to spin. And again, Earth is spinning on that imaginary line called an axis. And that starts at the North Pole and ends at the South Pole. It's important to know that the axis is not straight up and down, it is tilted. It's not straight up and down, it's tilted either towards the sun or away from the sun. And we'll talk about that in a little bit. Uh, it takes 24 hours, which is one day, to do a complete spin on its axis. So um, when Earth spins like this, it is going to be 24 hours or one day for each full spin it takes. Um, it does spin from west to east, not super important, but that is the way that it spins, west to east. Uh, as the Earth spins, one side faces the sun, while the other faces away from the sun. And this is why it could be daylight on one side of the Earth and nighttime on the other side. As you can see in this picture, the sun can only hit one side of the Earth at a time. So go ahead and think about this question in your head. I want to know... Is A or B experiencing nighttime and why? So you want to look at which one is facing the sun. Whichever hemisphere is facing the sun is going to have daytime because the sun is out. So that means that B, it's facing away from the sun. You can even see that there's a shadow here. A would be daytime right now, whereas B would be nighttime. Australia is on the opposite side of the earth from us, so when it's daytime here, it would be nighttime there. Same as vice versa, when it's nighttime in the United States, it is daytime in Australia. All right, revolution. The earth is always moving around the sun and it never stops. We call this Earth's revolution, and you can see that line right there is going to be the orbit because that is the path that Earth follows around the sun. So whereas it takes a day to turn like this, it takes a year to revolve. So it takes the Earth 365 and one-fourth days to orbit around the sun. This is why we have 365 days in a year. And fun fact that one-fourth, it's actually called the leap year. So every four years, we have a 29th day in February, and that is because of that one-fourth day to make it even as we go around the sun. So rotation, 365 years, I'm sorry, rotation is 24 hours, revolution is a year, one, 365 days, which is equal to one year. Rotation, revolution. Seasons, so we were talking about that tilt. Um, when the earth is tilted towards the sun on one part of the earth, it's going to be experiencing summer. When the Earth is tilted away from the sun, it's experiencing winter. Um, when the sun faces right at the center, it's kind of those middle seasons, so that would be spring and fall. So facing towards the sun, it's nice and sunny. It's summertime. Facing away from the sun, we're not getting as much heat. It is wintertime. 
All right, so why do we care about the Earth's movement? It helps us measure time. It gives us years, days, daytime, and nighttime, and it also gives us all of our seasons. So the way the Earth moves and how the Earth is tilted is very important for scientists. All right, let's go over your questions real quick and then I'll let you get started. So I wanna know, please use the slideshow, by the way, I'm posting this for a reason. All of your answers are here. Go back and find them. And um, again, go on Zoom if you need help. We will help you find it. I will tell you which slide to go to. We will walk you through it. Number one, how long does it take Earth to rotate once on its axis? Two, how long does it take Earth to revolve once around the sun? True or false, the Earth stays straight up when it spins. The axis is a real metal pole that goes through the middle of the Earth, true or false. When one side of Earth experiences day, the other side is experiencing night, true or false. We just did this one together. Which half of the Earth is at nighttime, A or B? Seasons are caused by the tilt of the Earth's axis and it's blank around the sun, fill in the blank. And lastly, if Syracuse is tilted completely away from the sun, what season is it? All right, that's all I've got for you guys today. I hope you are having a great Monday and we will see you tomorrow. Bye, Adams.